Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. It is 6 a.m. Ooh, the sun is bright. 6 a.m., this is what it sounds like, it's 6 a.m. Birds are singing, goats are quiet, horses are quiet, but you know, ever since Penny, oh I didn't even tell you guys yet, but Penny and Lady are friends. Oh, there's the rooster. Not so quiet now, once he's awake. Penny and Lady are friends. Penny, for the first time I've known her, actually has been seeking out Lady, standing with her, grooming her, hanging out with her in the barn. It's shocking. Enjoy the quiet, you guys. Enjoy the quiet before the storm. I brought you guys down with me today because last night it was Posy Pig's very first night in the barn and I wanted to show you guys how it went. Hi, Pose! <laughs> how did it go? You liked your blankets? Are you mad at me? So things got a lot harder at the barn because there's just a lot more to do. Oh, hi girlies, hi girlies, hi oh, little toffee. Do you guys remember when Lola used to sleep in that bed? Well, she still does. <laughs> hi sweetie. So I brought, I brought the pig's food down with me. Did you just pee in here? I hope not. This is her little feed mat that she uses. She likes to root around. That's your food, that's her water. She can't tip it and it's nice and low for her. That's her bed, you guys. These blankets are super heavy and super warm. I was so paranoid last night. And that's the bed she, oh, it's nice and warm in there and cozy. So pigs can make a bed like, they can definitely arrange themselves in blankets to stay warm. Looks like she did. Total success. I did it. I got my pig in the barn. Sophie does night chores and I do morning chores. So sometimes things get messed up. I think she loved it though. Baby boys! Little Mr. Winston's been a really good friend to Ziggy. I can't believe Posey's doing so well. Come on, get up here. Sit down. Oh. Did you need your milk? She's probably getting more milk than she's ever gotten her whole entire life. Because she was a quadruplet. No competition, just pure milk. I have to feed her her grain too because the others don't let her eat. I just want her to have a little bit of grain as well because I don't know if she was on grain before. I don't think she was actually. So um, I just want her to have a little tiny bit each day until she gets up to the amount she should have because a little bit slowly is the way to do it without causing problems. She's loving her life. Come on. And now suddenly you don't want to? Are you worried about that baby? Yes, I know. Come on, get up. Uh oh, what's the problem? Don't worry, I won't bring that baby to you. Don't come up here, it causes problems. Hi guys, welcome to today. We're just in the barn doing chores. 
And it looks like um, Lady and Storm must be getting to know each other because the divider I put up has been knocked down. It's on there pretty solid too, so I don't know if they fought. I'm gonna have to check the video camera. Uh oh, the camera's up there, but it's not pointed in this direction. So I probably won't have no footage, but I'm gonna check anyways, just in case. And see what actually happened. What happened, lady? What happened? What happened? So today I'm opening up the fields. Uh, I got the electric fence set up. I got the electric fence set up. I tested it, it's working, doesn't look pretty, but it's only temporary for now. I think I might actually put, I might actually split up this field and then split up the other field over there as well. Maybe put a gate, a gate on the top there and a gate here to separate the, so we can get through it. So more gates, more gates. Yeah, so Storm and Gracie will be up there and there's a shelter and they can go in there. They can go in through there and go to their water. And the girls have this area here and they can go get water too. Oh my gosh, Piggy's up here. What are you doing up here, Piggy? I don't know if she was sleeping here, but she was at the barn this morning and she got out and she's roaming the fields. Roaming the fields. All right, so this is the entrance for the other horses to get through, Storm and Gracie. I'm going to have to bury this cord because if they trip on it, they'll unplug it. How long is it going to take them to figure out they can go this way? How long? Come on, girl, Storm. Oh, they're excited. They're excited. They're running in there. I'm sure they remember the field. I'm sure they remember the electric fencing. So, Crazy and Storm haven't been up this field yet, so. Hopefully they'll be too busy eating grass to pay any attention. Everything good, Storm? There you go. Honey realizes what electric fence is. Oh, she must, yeah, because when we got her, she had electric fence in the other yard, so. Don't touch the fence. Think she wants to touch the fence, but maybe. Run along the fence just to see if she can get through. Just gonna make sure it's working here. The light is green. And I actually took a tester and tested the fencing. So each wire works. And it's pretty strong. I might reseed this because they didn't, they're not here that often. I'll reseed that field too. That field, if I get the seeds today, I'm gonna go get it today. I'll reseed this field and that field. <laughs> We are doing our morning rounds, you guys. We actually do chores in the morning, and then like early in the morning at six, and then we do noontime chores, noontime rounds, and this is this. That sound is typically the laying sound. So hold this open, I want Somebody's it. underneath there laying. Hold it open, I want it. Okay. All right, we're just checking to make sure everybody's got water. I want it. I want it. They're going to need water. Oh, and they're going to need food. So let's do that. Come here, man. Look at that turkey up on the roost. Okay, that chicken is annoying. I want a duck. I'm stupid. Please excuse the chicken. She's going to lay an egg. And they like 
to tell us when they're going to lay an egg. She's really pretty. Yeah, she is so cute. I can't wait to see what they look like. Even though this box is big and bulky and and make and takes up like a lot of, a lot of room in our chicken coop, it's such a nice space for a brooder. Like, and then we can divide it in half if we have to. But it's such a good space for them. This tree up here, it's right next to the house. It has all these really white, beautiful flowers. I don't think you can see them. The sun is shining in my eye. They smell so lovely, you guys. Every time I'm outside walking, I'm like, oh, so glorious out here. Those, and then we have a ton of lilacs, but the lilacs are done now. So today is the first full day that my pig has been outside. I always bring her in. So last night, she was out yesterday afternoon. She was out all afternoon. I put her to bed in the barn, woke her up in the barn, and then put her, she's been outside all day. I don't know where she is. <sighs> Sophie just called her. She walked away. She looks so big in our field compared to the other horses. Anyway, it's working really good having four on this side of the fence and then two on that side of the fence. Now that lady's in with the herd, she's not as likely to just run to Sophie. But even when Sophie was riding her at the lesson barn, she was really attached to her friend and her best friend and even when Sophie took her away and said hey like it's time to work now she was always perfect never ever a foot wrong all Sophie's horses just got a treat hey, wait. how is that fair well, your horse horse. Penny Penny you want a treat anyway I am loving that Sam had put an electric fence he electrified it put an electric fence along here because it's just temporary, but it, Penny is the happiest she's ever been. She used to always be separated from Storm and she was always happy. Um, and then she has not been happy since they've been together. She's only unhappy in the winter though, because in the summer she can go like far away from him in the field when they're in a smaller area, then she gets stressed out from him. But I think a lot of it too, is that he has so much pent up energy of wanting to like play and be active in his herd. He's just an active boy. Uh, and none of our girls really like to play so but anyway he's doing so good all the horses are on grass now we don't leave them on grass all day I'm the leader. <laughs> you're the leader because you have the treats that's adorable though she's like oh come now she does this fun thing like she I've seen other horses do it but it's so cute so she gets a mint and she sucks it. She want to make it last longer, huh? You want to make it last longer. Look at honey shedding it. I know. Like I brush her so much, it just takes her so long. Like come here and see her. By next year, hopefully she'll shed a little faster. She's like a paint an apple Do you guys hear it? Listen. She sucks it though. <laughs> Do you guys hear her? She sucks the mint. I mean, that's what I do too, but it's just funny to see her do it. We've been spotted. We've been spotted by the baby goats. She's really fun to ride. I know, but horses have value above just riding. You can't just ride her. It has to be like... I know, that's why she gets breaks. I know, but you should do some groundwork. Why don't you do groundwork with her today? All right, so we have been all over the place and we still haven't found my pig. Where do you bet she is? He's letting you touch him? Wow. Catch him, catch him, catch him. This little buck. Shush. Still the least friendly goat we've ever had. Oh, I know, I'm murdering you, aren't I? Like he, it's like he, he didn't know anything about outside. He didn't know anything about people. Good boy. But we definitely, we need him to be friendly. We need him to be friendly because bucks, you want to be friendly. All right, I still don't find my pig. There's her water. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little worried. I forgot she's friendly. I know, she's so friendly. Look at how, okay, so you saw Sophie holding him. They're a, they're a week apart in age. She wants her bottle. I know. She's like, just give me that bottle. Wait, gotta go right up. 
Stop wiping your nose on me, Blossom. Blossom wants it too. She's so cute. She is loving this milk. Everyone else wants it too. It's actually been a long time since Sophie and I sat on the ground and played with our little goats. <laughs> yeah, because we didn't have babies for a while. Oh, don't run away. Finally, she has energy to run and be like a little goat. She ha she does run and she is, acts like a little goat, but she's so small. She's almost eight pounds or she's probably eight pounds now because when I feed her, she's probably getting more milk in one session than she would being a quadruplet. It actually feels good for goats to stand on your back. Have you guys seen those TikToks where it says like, if somebody gets a hold of your camera, your phone and looks in your camera roll, like how many people will be in trouble for all the stuff that they have in their camera roll? And then there's like Sophie and I, Sophie just said she has 646 pictures of goats. Like all we have, I have kids and horses and goats and maybe some chickens. Like that's all we have are just kids. My kids, my grandkids, and animals. That's all I have in my camera roll. Comment below what you have in your camera roll. This is kind of like my dream, you guys. Him laying up on a platform, just relaxing in the, in the sun. Isn't he cute? He is literally double the size of that new little one that we bought, and he's only a week older. That's honestly so much therapy, just sitting there with the goats. Even Gabby came down. That was amazing. I missed that. Still haven't found my pig though. What if she ran away because I made her sleep in the barn? <laughs> That's that rooster that Sophie says is really mean. Ah, piggy, 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 piggy! Piggy, piggy, piggy! She knows where the house is. So if she got outside the fence somehow, she just come out. She would just come up to the house. Piggy, piggy, piggy! I call her and then I listen and she usually... Piggy, 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 posy! 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 You guys, you guys spy what I spy? Another fly mask hanging on the post. Posy! Come here, posy, posy, posy! Oh gosh. Posey! Come on, Posey! There's no way in heck that a hawk picked that thing up and carried it away. Posey! Come here, Posey! Come on, Ellie, come help me find the pig. Go find the pig. Get the pig, get Posey. Have you seen the pig? Found her? She's with the chickens? Oh, man, like she's way too fat to get. Oh, she comes running. She sees the, she sees the dogs and she came running. What the heck, little missy? You had four people looking everywhere for you. I guess she shouldn't be able to get out. She's heavy. <laughs> but, like, was she actually just in the chicken coop? No, she was with the chickens over there. She likes the chickens. They don't try and hurt her. In the shade too, so. Yeah, and she's in the shade. Yesterday I said she doesn't know to stay out of the sun, but actually she does. I have like water and everything over in the goat section for her. Good girl. Are you being a good little piggy? This is what life is like for pigs. Oh. I know she wants to come with me. She wants to be inside and be with me, but she has to learn to stay out here. I just have to learn to like relax. I was worried that you broke free somehow and you were out in some farmer's field, but it's good for her to be out here rooting around and learning to be a pig. One day she'll have a friend. At the end of the summer, she'll have a friend out here with her. Go play. I'll come back in two hours and check on you again. That's the thing about having a farm. It's not just like you feed everybody and let everybody out. You are doing like checks all the time just to make sure everybody's okay because animals, can get into the worst trouble ever and if you don't know you don't know and you can't help them even like uh, that little baby goat that we have I'm feeding her a lot so we're down there but between the times that I'm feeding her one of those other goats could ram her or she gets stuck running away from those other goats because she's so tiny thanks for your help girls the dogs were actually no help at all I took the dogs through the goat barn with me to go look in the goat field in the rock field and 
they couldn't go out the door into the rock field area because there were goats in the field and they were afraid of the goats. Don't you know that you're beautiful?